Interesting to note the stock price today, guys, because it, it did certainly start the day very strong. It was up as much as, what, 14% at one point. I mean, still up nicely, but uh, but has lessened its gains. Uh, abrupt is the word, though, Sarah. You're right. You know, in fact, uh, what I've learned is that it was Wednesday that uh, Mr. Flannery um, told his board that there was going to be a $23 billion impairment charge uh, to power. Now, it's non-cash. It's goodwill. Uh, and also said, not sure about the guidance anymore, that we can continue to provide that guidance because uh, things were deteriorating a bit more than it anticipated. And the board moved fast. Uh, Thursday, they started to deliberate about his future. Uh, and soon after that, they decided it was time for him uh, to depart, um, only 13 months after, of course, he began in the job. Not necessarily specific to this, but this did seem to be the catalyst for board deliberation that led to his quick termination, um, in part also, as we've said earlier or reported earlier, because of concerns about his, uh, the, uh, his decision making in terms of how quickly it was coming, um, the fact that many people seem to think he communicated, didn't communicate particularly well around certain decisions and or was simply not making them in a rapid enough fashion. So I, hard to know exactly what was in the minds of the board uh, members, but they did seem poised almost to sort of take advantage in a sense of uh, 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 of this misstep to act on, I guess, their own concerns that they already had. Is 13 months enough time for someone to be able to prove themselves? Probably not. Probably not. But you know what? This company's got some real issues. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Mr. Flannery had talked about turning around power wealth uh, nobody expected it was going to be an easy thing, but I think the fact that it is going the other way right now perhaps gave pause to some board members. Not to mention, uh, they never conducted a search when they installed him in the job, but having the presence of Mr. Culp on the board since the spring, a man who had He's run young. down to her for many years, who's 55 years old, probably gave them some confidence that perhaps they could move in a different direction rapidly and a better direction. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I mean, he's going to remain committed to the plan to spin off health care or um, separate health care. It's unclear exactly how they're going to do it. One other key point we need to make, though, is about the future of the dividend. Given that $23 billion impairment charge, we haven't heard from the rating agencies as yet, but they may very well weigh in. It's a downgrade possibility, and that could put pressure on them to suspend the dividend. That would be different than what they've said previously, which is the dividend at 48 cents would be safe until the health care split off, and then you'd have two different companies with very different cash flow profiles, and they'd make a decision then. What, what is the problem at yeah. GE? You said it was a real problem child company and you know to your question it's not like investors gave him the time of day either the stock hit a nine-year low last week so so what's the what's the hope for a turnaround of this company what does that even look like that's a great question Sarah I think listen I think the surprise for so many people has not been the, of the ever increasing difficulties they got in on their balance sheet as a result of buying high and selling low that was Mr. Immel. We've talked about it many times, what he did in his 16 years, including the Alstom deal, which they're writing down the majority, the $23 billion hit they're taking, is from that deal, yet another one where they clearly overpaid. But it, what surprised people was execution, and the lack of execution, particularly at power. Uh, and how you turn that around, well, it can take time. But apparently this board thinks you need to move fairly quickly. Now, they have said once they are past health care, and they would like to get past that perhaps more quickly than Mr. Flannery was laying out in a timeline, that they feel like they've got a very manageable company that they can start to once again focus on growth with. But the balance sheet is still going to potentially get in their way until they can effectively delever.